she just really is happy right there on my shoulder for most of the time. <laughs> Meet and, Mindy Class um, and her new pet, Grace, a monarch butterfly. I was sitting in a chair just watching this monarch butterfly and I thought, oh no, she must be hurt. And people were just walking by, not even paying any attention to her. Mindy did pay attention and decided to begin an unusual journey with the help of her boyfriend, John McLaughlin. Without John, none of this is possible because he was brilliant. <laughs> Since it was something that actually flew, that's what had my heart. It's like, you know, I'm a pilot. I've been a pilot pretty much my whole life. And I said, you know, we got to at least give it the opportunity to fly. Minnie and John repaired the butterfly's right wings. I mean, it was just like he was working on his airplane, which I thought was fantastic. And the splints worked pretty well. She instantly just moved her wings nice and slow. And it was just like, I'm not kidding. If you could tell a butterfly was perky, it was like she got happy. But then things took a turn for the worse. We're gone on vacation, come back now. It's like missing all but that much of the front wing. It's like, oh boy, what now? That's why we have spare butterfly wings. John used the new wings from Ryman Gardens at Ames and some glue to make the second repair. A backlight shows the seam between old and new. We got the new wings on, um, and instantly again, she started making her wings just go, and only this time she took off right away. And now Grace is flying and falling as she learns to use her new wings. An orange and a sponge full of sugar water helped to nurse her back to health. An unusual ending for a very lucky butterfly. Here's a butterfly that was hatched out to fly, was deformed at birth, deserved a chance, and uh, now she's doing it. And she is. I saw her for myself. Of course, they learned how to do this butterfly wing repair. Where else? But YouTube. Everything's on YouTube. <laughs> Everything. And Mindy joked that watching John repair this uh, butterfly ring reminded her of him repairing a wing on one of his airplanes. So he's. Perfect guy for the job. Yeah, built plenty of wings, none of them this small before. <laughs> right. So, what's the plan? Are you just, are we, this, well, we talked this to this uh, entomologist Nathan Brockman up at the Ryman Gardens. Yeah. He says the best advice is just to keep it as a pet. This is the fourth generation of monarch through the year, so this will actually probably live until spring. Oh, really? Yeah. But unfortunately, my house is small, so it flies around, hits the ceiling. We, we need like a big, maybe a metrodome kind of thing. I notice you have a ceiling fan, John. Yeah, so make sure we that's off. We did shut that off. <laughs> yes. yeah. Anyway, yeah, good story, Todd. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank